Last month, my wife bought a Sylvester Stallone pillow and put it in the middle of the bed. Since then, things have been rocky between us. Went to a diner with a couple I know. They started arguing. Normally, I'm not one to take sides, but they were so distracted by yelling at each other that I stole her fries and his coleslaw. What do a couple of firefighters call their male child? Arson. A Star Wars obsessed Mexican couple had a son, they named him Obi Wan. Why do some couples not go to the gym? Because some relationships don't work out. <laughs> what do you call a boat for couples? A relationship. Why was the cannibal so good at cooking elderly couples? He used an old family recipe. Elderly couple in church. Wife turns to husband and says, I've just done a silent fart. What should I do? Husband says, put new batteries in your hearing aid. My wife and I went to a couple's counseling seminar recently. The speaker mentioned that 85% of couples are so disconnected the husband doesn't even know his wife's favorite flower. I leaned over toy wife and said it's self-raising, isn't it? What is the most common place couples fight at the mall? The feud court. I'm a therapist who specializes in couples counseling. But I tell people that I'm a makeup artist. Our couples therapist said, your wife says you never buy her flowers. Is that true? To which I replied, well, to be honest, I didn't even know she sold flowers. A couple is asleep in bed together when the phone rings at 2 a.m. The husband groggily picks up the phone and screams at the caller how the hell do I know? I'm not a weatherman and hangs up. Who was that? The wife asks. The husband answers just some guy who wanted to know if the coast was clear. At couples therapy, the husband said, I can't take it. She is always referencing Star Wars. I'm leaving. His wife looked at the therapist and said, Divorce is strong with this one. Why did the pirate couple get divorced? Cause they just couldn't keep their hands off other people's booty. What do clown couples do after they fight? They make up. Divorced couples in Colorado are having trouble deciding who gets the marijuana. The judges have started issuing joint custody. My wife and I tried a couple's camping retreat, but it didn't work out. But it was too intense. A young man was in love with two women and could not decide which of them to marry. Finally, he went to a marriage counselor. When asked to describe his two loves, he noted that one was a great poet and the other made delicious pancakes. Oh, said the counselor. I see what the problem is. You can't decide whether to marry for batter or verse. <laughs> Marriage is like a deck of cards. In the beginning all you need is two hearts and a diamond. By the end you wish you had a club and spade. Marriage is a sentence, but it has a nice ring to it. Every morning me and my wife race to be the first to say the three words that are so important to every marriage. Coffee is ready. Two earthquakes decided to end their marriage. It was a no-fault divorce.
My wife and I have a great marriage. How do we do it? Twice a week, we go to a nice restaurant for some good food, beer, and conversation. She goes on Tuesdays and I go on Thursdays. You know what they say about marriage, don't you? It's an institution and you have to be committed. <laughs> marriage is really educational. When I was single, I didn't even know there was a wrong way to put a fork in the dishwasher. <laughs> Did you hear about the marriage between the girl from Dublin and the boy from New Orleans? It was quite the occasion. Why do colorblind people always end up in toxic marriages? They couldn't see the red flags. My wife asked me to choose between our marriage and my career as a reporter. Boy, do I have some news for her. My marriage is on the rocks. I took my wife for granted. My marriage is slowly turning into a melon farm. I keep hearing honey do this, honey do that. Even though we're not in an open marriage, I'm okay with my wife having a second husband. Which you have to admit is bigamy. <laughs> marriage is a prison. Where everyone is trying to escape into. What did the honeydew say to the watermelon's marriage proposal? Never gonna happen, I can't elope. <laughs> My marriage is like a meteorite. It was once out of this world. Then it went through a great amount of friction and pressure. Eventually it came crashing down. Now it's being investigated by professionals. <laughs> did you hear about the surprise marriage proposal at the gym? It didn't work out. What are the three rings of marriage? The engagement ring, the wedding ring, and finally the suffering. The blind man had his second marriage today. I guess he didn't see anything in the first wife. Therapist said to me, it seems like you have an acute phobia of marriage. Do you know the symptoms? I can't say I do. A dentist and a manicurist had a rough marriage. They fought tooth and nail. A guy walks into a bar and orders a beer. Did you know in some other countries you don't know who your wife is until you are married? He asks the bartender. It's the same everywhere, son. A husband and wife team are opening a new coffee shop that will also serve as a family law practice. They're calling it grounds for divorce. My wife asked me, what starts with F and ends in K? I said, no it doesn't. My neighbor is a 90-year-old with Alzheimer's. I see him every morning and he asks me if I've seen his wife. Every day I have to tell this poor man that his wife died 20 years ago. I could have moved to another house or even ignore his question. But the look of joy in his eyes whenever I answer him is worth the world. I was feeling depressed. So my wife put her hand on my shoulder and said, Earth. That meant the world to me. What do you call a wife who knows where her husband is at all times? A widow. When the therapist said, so, tell me what brings you here today. My wife growled, it's really difficult to live with him. He's so literal. I shook my head, chuckled and explained. My truck brought me here. 
A man and his wife are at a restaurant, and the husband keeps staring at a drunken lady swigging her gin at a nearby table. His wife asks, do you know her? Yes, sighs the husband. She's my ex-wife. She took to drinking right after we divorced seven years ago, and I hear she hasn't been sober since. My God, says the wife. Who would think a person could go on celebrating that long? I just discovered my wife's Tinder profile, and I am so angry about her lies. She is not fun to be around. <laughs> my wife and I were really happy for 20 years. Then we met. <laughs> Whenever my wife is upset I let her color in my black and white tattoos. She just really needed a shoulder to crayon. I'm Bob Jeffy. And I'm Montgomery Jones. And that's the Top Dad Jokes for National Couples Day. We're on a mission to spread the laughs and groans far and wide, so please do us a favor and share just one of these jokes with your family and friends. Thanks. Hey listeners, did you know we have a merch store where you can get exclusive Daily Dad Jokes apparel? It's a perfect gift idea for a dad who has everything. It's available on Amazon. Visit our website dailydadjokespodcast.com and click on the merch link or check the show notes for more details. Do you have your own dad joke you want to share? Join the hundreds of listeners who have submitted their own dad jokes through our voicemail. Please spread the laughs and groans and submit your own dad joke to our voicemail with the best ones to be included in special fan episodes. Just leave your name, the city and state you live in, and your best dad joke. Call 978-393-1076. I'll repeat that number. It's 978-393-1076. Or check the show notes page for the number. We look forward to hearing from you. The Daily Dad Jokes Podcast is produced by Classic Studios. See the show notes page for social media links and joke credits. This show was recorded in front of a canned studio audience. <laughs>